so today is Sunday, January 28th, and it's actually your Grandma Sederno's birthday today. Um, I know it's unfortunate because I, I'm not sure if you're able to contact her or not. Um, I, I would highly doubt it because I think the last time that, just so you're aware, in case you never knew this, that when Grandma Sederno went to um, <clears throat> over to your house in Bend bef that night that your biological dad <clears throat> packed you up and took you to Washington, um, Grandma Sederno went over to, the, to your house um, to, um, I think, she wanted to give you guys a hug and just love on you guys. and. I guess you guys weren't home. Now I, I think I know where you guys were. But um, that night um, over the ring thing, your biological dad, Brian Scott, told your grandma, and, and we break it off in the name of Jesus, but told your biological or your, <clears throat> your mother, who is me, her mom, so your Grandma Sojourno, which is your mother's, how do I say this? This would be your maternal grandmother. That's what you call it. <laughs> Not your biological grandmother. Um, so your maternal grandmother attempted to, I don't know why I'm walking around with my <laughs> sunglasses on. Um, she attempted to see you guys and Brian Scog told her that she would never see you guys again. Um, <clears throat> She has broken that off, and we all have broken it off in the name of Jesus. That is a word curse. It's a false accusation, and it's it's not going to stick because she's going to be able to see you again. So anyways, that being said, <clears throat> I highly doubt that um, Brian Skog is going to allow you guys to call your grandma Sederno and wish her happy birthday, but maybe it will happen maybe God will convict his heart maybe God will convict Jenna Scogg's heart and say hey you know what maybe you should call your grandma Sojourno and wish her happy birthday today <clears throat> so your grandma Sojourno is exactly 30 years older than me so she's turning 77 years old today she loves you guys so much so much she prays for you guys. She she does a prayer and fasting quite frequently. Um, she cries when she talks about you and the memories that she has about you guys. She is she loves you guys so much, and I'm so grateful for her in our life. And she continues to be very. <clears throat> involved in my life and your stepdad's life Hadid she's very involved in your auntie Anne's life and we're extremely grateful for her and I just hope and pray that soon you guys can be reunited with my side of the family um, and that things can be redeemed and restored um, anyways I'm not gonna keep talking about that I don't want the to be the premise of this conversation or this recording today it's actually a very beautiful day here although it is like almost six o'clock at night but it's in the 60s today which is actually very warm um, for right now obviously it's actually been in the 30s and 40s here in Texas where we live in Montgomery um, but it today it warmed up actually the last couple days this warmed up it stopped raining and it's just gorgeous and beautiful because now because of all the rain there is so everything's starting to sprout up and be super green I don't you probably can't see it in here but there's a lot of um, green and it's not the green like in Oregon and Washington which is like a deep green this is more of a lime green so everything is like very much 
like a lime color. I don't know if you'll be able to see these colors in here. <clears throat> you probably can see some of it, but I don't know if it's getting the full impact. But because of all the rain, it has <clears throat> all the, the lime grain has popped up and it's really, really pretty. So right now I'm walking down to the pond um, or the small lake. I was thinking this lake is actually, I think, bigger than the, the Fisher Lake, the little Fisher Pond or Link Lake that we used to go to to go fishing at. I think it's a little bit bigger than that. Um, but there's that home in the background that I was telling you that's it's huge. It's big. It, like, takes up, I don't know, four lots. One... To, oh, maybe two huge lots. It is pretty big. Um, it's very pretty. Then there's this um, fountain in the middle of the lake out here. And it, um, at night, I'm not a fan of it, but at night it turns red. So I don't know if you can see. I'm going to kind of, uh, you probably can't. But there's two red. There's two red, let's see if I can point to them, like right there, and then I think right over there. <clears throat> They're red lamps, or red lights, and so at night, it, like, all the water reflects, and it's super red. It looks kind of evil. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. So, anyways, I just wanted to get on here and make sure I did a recording for today. I love you guys. Um, I miss you so much. Today, church was wonderful. I hope and pray that you're still going to church. That you're going to a church that believes in Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Um, that's my hope and that's my prayer for you trying to decide where to sit. I need to rest my arm. <laughs> because, ooh, um, anyways, I love you guys. I'm going to pray over you. And I'm going to let you go. Father God, I just thank you so much for warning Clara. Lord, I thank you that you've got this. You also have given us everything that we need so that we can do this as well. Lord, I thank you that <clears throat> Everything will be redeemed, and I pray that it happens before your return. I pray that it happens soon. I pray that Warren and Clara will be reunited with me, with their stepfather, Hadid, um, so that they will get to know him. I pray that Wyatt will be reunited with us. Father, I pray that you shine your light upon all things that everything that is in the darkness is brought into the light Lord, reveal it to all of us reveal it to me reveal it to hadid reveal it to brian and jenna's god reveal it to warren and clara reveal it to wyatt reveal it to the judicial courts <clears throat> reveal it to law enforcement reveal it to those who god you have already predestined and prepositioned for everyone to see the truth and to be able to have a softness in the heart for the forgiveness and the repentance that you require. Lord, I thank you for un your unconditional love. And Lord, as we continue to pray, Lord, may your will be done in Warren and Clara and in Wyatt's life, each one of them here on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, <clears throat> Pour out your glory. Pour out your love, your mercy, and your grace. Allow us to receive your Son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, to the fullest, Lord. Reveal your sons and daughters in this earth. I thank you, Father, in your name. Amen. I love you guys so much. So much. I'm going to give you a hug. I love you. Um, I just, I, I pray continual, continually for you. And as the Lord says, you know, to be praying without ceasing, um, that is my desire. Um, as 
as you know, it's difficult to pray without ceasing. But I do find myself, I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I find myself praying for you guys. There's a couple ducks. Um, it's a, a male and a female. The male is going after the female. That's the male. It's a mallard. That's the female. <laughs> He's hunting her down. Um, I just want you guys to know I love you. I miss you. And I do. I pray for you frequently. Sometimes the Lord just wakes me up. Two nights ago, he just randomly woke me up with a sound. Um, and I asked Hadid if he heard the sound, and he said no. But the sound, um, it was pretty, it was amazing. It was cool. Now, he was sleeping. It's not like I woke up and said, hey, did you hear that? <clears throat> but I told him, and he was like, wow, that's that's really awesome. I would, I would have loved to hear that sound, but... I was woken up by it, and I just prayed, because I don't know what the Lord's trying to do, but I'm praying as the Lord guides, so just want you guys to know I love you, I miss you, and I will see you tomorrow. I love you, I miss you, bye.